Do me a favor. Think about your best friend or friends. Think about how close you are with them now and the things you share with them and how much you depend on their advice and their input as you make decisions uh, about, you know, things that are big and small in your life. Now try and think back to when you first met that person. And that wasn't the same then, right? You wouldn't have heard them uh, give you some input and then automatically just said, well, I got to take this really seriously. This is very meaningful to me. That's something that grew over time, right? That kind of trust that you developed and, and their, their, uh, their role as a trusted advisor and counselor in your life came over time and through building that up over the course of your relationship. And the same thing is true really in public relations when we think about developing that counseling function of public relations. Ideally, public relations will develop into that counseling role, but that takes time. So we want to talk about what it takes to get there and what that means for a public relations professional to engage in that kind of counseling role at the executive level. So first of all, let's take a look at the role evolution of public relations. You know, when we start out, we're just kind of on these, uh, um, low risk tasks, right? There's not much that we're doing. That's going to cause much damage or, or have a huge amount of impact. We're doing a lot of low level work and, and low risk things as people learn what we can do and what our strengths are and, and whether or not we're reliable and those types of things. So we got lots of low risk tasks involved. Then eventually we'll start to get more and more involved in some of these strategic functions. We may be put in charge of a campaign. We may be asked to serve as a spokesperson and, and engage in these very specific roles within the public relations department and have a chance to, to show our value and, and to prove ourselves in these different strategic functions, but still pretty defined in terms of what we're doing. It's more about do this and receiving orders and maybe taking charge of that particular campaign, but we're not really specifically directing the, the, uh, the, um, the, the direction of the organization. We're not steering the ship, so to speak. We're helping to steer the ship, helping navigate or anything. We're more just fulfilling the functions of, of public relations at that point. But over time, uh, ideally we'll, we'll grow into what we call a counselor role, which is more of that, you know, executive type position where we are having an impact and a say in the direction of the organization and, and the ability to look at other areas of the organization and provide input and provide um, guidance there. And just, you know, help the, you know, the ultimate leaders of the organization make those decisions by, um, by providing the input from a public relations perspective, which we know is very, very important and, and is becoming more so to organizations as they add more and more people in public relations to this type of role. So, but again, we got to grow into this role as counselor. We've got to prove ourselves. We got to show um, what we can do to, to build up to that. It's like your best friend. You didn't just start off as best friends with this enormous amount of trust. You had to build into that and grow into that over time. The same is true in public relations. You got to work your way through this. Um, even if you're coming in as sort of an experienced veteran and, and been highly sought after, you still really have to develop that, re that relationship with the executive so that they can find that kind of trust in you where your input is really going to be heard and listened to and, and taken seriously. Even if they don't always follow your input or your advice, or, you know, you're still, you're being heard. You're, you're having an impact on the direction of things. So let's talk a little bit about what that role entails. Then what is it that we do when we're in that counseling role? What are, what are some of the things that we need to, to bear in mind? Well, first of all, as a counselor, an executive counselor in public relations, you really have to be somebody who can um, get ahead of issues and not just always be working from behind, right? If we look at the curve, right? And talking about being ahead of the curve, most people are in the middle of that. They, they're right at the issue and, 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 and where it's happening right now, they're happening in that moment in present times. Some people are just far behind, but you've got to be ahead of that. You've got to be able to see these things coming and, and really provide input on, okay, this is what impact is going to have on our organization. We've done some planning around this. We've done some thinking around this and here's how we ought to respond. And, and here's how I'd suggest we respond and we think we'll have the greatest impact. We've got to be ahead of these things and sort of see them coming. And so maybe review our, our lesson on, on our video on, on uh, crisis planning, for example, some things we can see coming, some things we can't, but we ought to have a plan as much as possible for these things so we can get ahead of issues and be on the front edge of things and not even in the middle of the pack or certainly not behind. As a PR counselor too, as in, in that counseling role, we have to be able to see the forest and the trees. We have to be able to see these big, broad issues uh, societally and, and in our industry and things, but we also have to be able to see 
the details within our organization and how that's impacting different departments and, and what we can do and how that affects public relations then overall. That's our area, of course, but we've got to have an awareness of, of everything, both big picture and more detailed um, perspective. So we've got to be able to see the forest and the trees, not just one or the other. We also have to be in touch with the pulse. We have to be in touch with the pulse, pulse of our publics and the pulse of society. And we have to, you know, have, have the data. We depend heavily on our marketing um, department folks and, and their ability to gather data that's important to us. But we have to be in touch with okay, what's happening, not only in our organization, but what's happening in the world around us, what's happening in our community that's impacting uh, things. And how is that impacting our organization, even if it's not directly because of or due to our or involving our organization? If it affects our community, then it affects us as well. And if it affects our publics, then it affects us as well. So we need to uh, be in touch with what's happening in the world, specifically with our organization and with our publics, but really just in general what is the pulse of society? Where are, we, where are we going and how can we get ahead of that as well and be ahead of that particular curve? We have to take responsibility. Uh, we have to be responsible as a council. We have to be trustworthy. We have to uh, be somebody that gets things done when they say they'll get them done. And somebody who can be depended on to be there with good um, advice and input and, and have their ducks in a row in terms of having their knowledge base and and really knowing their stuff so we have to take responsibility for all these things we also have to take responsibility for our choices and for our input when we, when we say something and it goes wrong we have to take responsibility for that as well as when it goes right we get we get responsibility for that as well and hopefully the positives that come with that but but we've got to take responsibility for all of it and if we're gonna we're gonna be in this type of position we've got to be the kind of person who can who can handle that we have to remember our systems principles. I remember, I, I mentioned before, you had to see the forest and the trees. We've got to be in touch with the different departments, but we have to remember that this principle of interdependence that exists within a system. Our organization is a system. Everything in the organization is impacted by everything else in the organization. So even if your department is really humming along, right? They're doing everything right. You're seeing, you're going gangbusters and seeing great results in your department. If another department is having issues, that's going to affect your department. It's all connected, right? It's all interdependent. So we have to remember that we have to not only monitor and keep an eye on what's going on in other departments, but figure out how we can be of assistance. Then if, if somebody is struggling with something, what can we do to be of assistance? Because it affects all of us. It's not like, you know, if the, if the company is losing money, you, you can't just say, well, you know, the PR department's doing great. So it's not my fault. I, I'm out of here. I'm, you know, this is not on me it affects everybody. And so, you know, there's that old expression, a rising tide lifts all ships, right? And that's true in an organization. We've got to get everybody on the rise. And so we all have to pull together. And as a public relations person, we are directly affected by every different department and involved with all of these departments. So we've got to remember that we are part of a system and that system is interdependent. We, we um, are affected by what happens with others. So we ought to be um, working to make sure everybody is part of that rising tide right? and, and feeling the effects of that. And then you know, probably the hardest thing on this list is to, that we have to earn the right to counsel. We have to earn the right to be a counselor. And we have to continuously earn that right um, by being reliable, by being trustworthy, by being authentic and, and having integrity and by developing a positive reputation, not just with the, uh, the, the person in charge, but with everybody in the organization. And we have to show commitment to that organization and, and to our to our role, to our tasks, to our specific uh, responsibilities and things. But um, so all of this goes into developing our credibility and which which enhances our ability to counsel. It doesn't matter what your title is. If your title is, you know, a vice president, but you're not somebody who has credibility and you haven't earned that right, then your counsel will not be taken seriously. You won't have the impact that you want, regardless of your title, because people just won't listen to you. They won't trust you. So we've got to earn the right to be a counselor by being all of these things, by, by pursuing all of these things um, that ends up with enhanced credibility. Then. So the idea here is that, again, we become a trusted partner. That's really what we're looking for here, that we become more than just an employee, more than just, you know, one other cog in the big system, that, that we become a trusted partner uh, by, by, by being reliable, by being trustworthy, by, by having that global look and seeing the forest and the trees and doing all those other things that we mentioned. We become a trusted partner, which, which 
earns us the right then to counsel and to provide our, not only provide our input, but to have it be taken seriously and, and have the ability to influence then the outcome. Again, we won't always have our, uh, have our, the, what we suggest taken as gospel, right? But we're going to put ourselves in a position to be heard and to be able to have an influence on the direction of things as they move forward. If you have questions about the counselor role of, of a public relations professional or what goes into that, what might be expected of someone, any, anything along those lines, please feel free to email me. I'd love to hear from you there. And in the meantime, I hope that you will yourself aspire to that role. It won't come easily. Again, it won't come immediately. It's something we have to earn over time and build up to. But once we have it, it's a really rewarding um, position to be in, to be able to, to help direct and guide things and, and to just improve um, the, the, the organization to the benefit of everyone involved.